It was the late 1980s. A cool autumn breeze swept through the small town of Story Falls. Lisa and her boyfriend Mark, a lanky and aspiring guitarist, found themselves standing in front of the old weathered house that had belonged to Lisa's recently deceased grandmother. They decided to explore the house one last time before it was sold. The memories of Lisa's childhood echoed through the halls as they entered the dusty, dimly lit living room, filled with antique furniture. After looking through the family albums, they decided to venture up to the attic. As they climbed the narrow staircase, the air grew colder and more ominous. In the attic, Mark's flashlight revealed a sea of forgotten relics, some covered in white sheets. Cobwebs clung to the corners, and old trunks lay scattered around. Amidst the dusty boxes and discarded furniture, Mark stumbled upon a table covered by a dusty old bedsheet. He flung the sheet off the table. Dust flew in the air as he thought he probably should have considered a different technique. When the dust settled, a collection of old cassette tapes were revealed. Most were unlabeled, but one stood out with demo tape handwritten on its cover. Mark, curious, held the tape up and asked, What's this, Lisa? Lisa took the tape and said with a tone of surprise, Oh, wow, this looks like one of my uncle's old tapes, she began. My dad said he was a gifted guitarist back in the 70s. But he was always kind of strange, intense, and intimidating. He never got along with anyone in the family. She paused, lost in her own thoughts, before adding, He died in a car accident, so I never really knew him. His body was never found. Mark decided to put the tape back in the box, and they continued exploring the attic. Before they left, Mark could not resist the temptation, and quickly took the tape as Lisa went down the stairs. Weeks later, Mark was absolutely mesmerized by the mysterious cassette. The deep lyrics and haunting chords of the guitar filled the room. He was spellbound. The music was breathtaking and ahead of its time. With a sinister inspiration, Mark decided to pass the music off as his own, releasing it under his name. His album became an overnight sensation, and he rode the wave of fame to riches. As Mark's fame skyrocketed, he found himself in the spotlight more often than he had ever imagined. An interviewer was eager to know the inspiration behind his deep lyrics and mesmerizing guitar riffs. She asked how he had crafted such emotionally charged music. Under the glare of camera lights, Mark paused for a moment, his brow furrowed as he searched for an answer. His fans held their breath, waiting for him to reveal the wellspring of his creativity. But then, disappointingly, he simply shrugged and said, I just think of it and play and write, you know? The response left the interviewer and audience perplexed, as they expected profound stories of inspiration, not such a mundane explanation. That night, Mark went to bed, still bothered by the nagging questions about his music's origins. As he lay in the darkness, his sleep was interrupted by a terrible nightmare. In his dream, he found himself in the attic of Lisa's grandmother's house, surrounded by shadowy figures and the mournful wail of a guitar. The air grew icy cold as the ghostly apparition of Lisa's uncle materialized before him, his eyes filled with anger and betrayal. You stole my music! The spirit hissed, his voice echoing through the void. You profited from my pain and now you will pay. Mark woke up in a cold sweat, his heart pounding. It was no ordinary dream. It felt like a visitation from an angry spirit. The weight of guilt and dread settled upon him as he realized that he had crossed a line he could never uncross. That night, tormented by guilt and the relentless presence of the vengeful spirit, Mark couldn't escape the haunting memory of his nightmare. He felt as though the weight of his stolen success was crushing him. Mark got into his car and drove across the winding road near the ocean, the same road where he had, many times, listened to the stolen cassette tape. His hands trembled on the steering wheel as he navigated the dark, desolate stretch of asphalt. At some point along that treacherous road, Mark lost control of his car. The vehicle careened off the bridge, plunging into the frigid waters below. The crash sent shockwaves through the small town of Story Falls, especially with the strange discovery of an original cassette tape marked Demo Album, discovered at the very spot on the road where Mark's car had careened off the bridge. 
Perhaps the vengeful spirit had reclaimed what was rightfully his, ensuring that Mark's ill-gotten success would be forever tarnished with the tragic and mysterious circumstances of his untimely demise. <laughs>